Hello everyone. Thank you for joining today. Good evening, good morning and good afternoon. Thank you all for joining this live stream. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity. One minute. I understand that today is a working day and uh, thank you for very a lot for joining this session and I would just like to conduct this session for just 30 minutes and uh, in this session I would like to briefly discuss the current state of Java 21 and how to utilize and be a part of this Java 21 journey which is going to be um, GA in the month of September and also just take a couple of uh, new features and take you through the live code to understand how can we run this live code even though it is not yet released. Currently Java 21 is in ram down phase one. I think you are able to see the screen and uh, I'm sharing this uh, window. So this is the home page for JDK 21. And in this, this is the source of truth for all the features it's scheduled and uh, what can we do about it. So from here, you can go to any page and understand the features which it has. So before I start the session, I would just like to um, let you all know about one thing that already I have a to maintain to let the Java community grow and to learn the latest features. I maintain a GitHub repo where I have been sharing the usage and showcasing the latest features of Java 21. So the GitHub repository is uh, very simple. I have been sharing it. So the owner is uh, engineer Sunit. And then here the repository is Java 21. So this is a simple Java uh, repository where there is no support for Maven or any Gradle because currently they don't have support. They don't support it. It's not GA yet. That's why. And all the files which are the source files are available in the in this directory. So here you can find the unnamed pattern variables feature, string templates, simple hello world, which I published, I think a day, of, day before yesterday, and uh, sequence collections, object hash, that is I think not related to Java 21, but it uh, shows how can we use alternate ways of generating job object hash, and the generational Z garbage collector, so all these uh, files, you can get it here. Today, we will be discussing among these all uh, string templates and sequence collections. So first of all, let me help uh, those who don't know or those who are yet to uh, be a part of any JDK release journey, how it happens. So first of all, what we have, what we do is that we go to the, any user should always any Java developer or any Varsi who is who wants to learn Java, they should always visit the release um, homepage. So this is the JDK 21 homepage. It shows that it is currently here. You can see the schedule and you can understand what is the schedule is. So currently we are past 8th of June. So that is uh, past the ramp down phase one. And ramp down phase one to initial release candidate. What do they mean? I think most of the people who are already in their jobs and working in a developer position they understand that we have some cutdowns before the general availability phase. So where we in the wrap down phase one, we are currently the Java community, the open JDK community is looking up, looking for fixing P1, P2, P3 bugs. And uh, maybe if P4, P5, if there is a time which usually doesn't have, people don't have it. In the ramp down phase two, the fix, the focus will be mostly on P1 and P2s and in initial release candidate only P1s. And these are the features which we have. So one important thing which I wanted to um, showcase here is that these are not just text files or ST blank uh, like HTML pages, which just give us information. They also connect you to the open JDK development work as well. So for example, let me show you one uh, example here. So let's suppose today we are going to look into the these two features sequence collections and uh, string templates so you want to know that what changes were made 
to deliver this feature let's suppose we take the smallest feature that is sequence collection which is not a preview it has already been integrated with java jdk 21 so it is not a preview one so you click on this link so you are navigated to another window you can see that the status the important things here are the status integrated and release 21 so this this status means that it is already there as a part of the jdk 21 code base from here what you can do is that you can read about this entire so one good thing about the jep page is that you have the ready made code it's not almost it is 99% ready made as in like you can uh, quickly take the code sam snippets from here and use your jdk uh, your ide uh, to make this code running with adding some of the boilerplate code for example creating a class or uh, creating a main main um, method apart from that you can you can copy most of the things so here after reading the jep and if you want to understand or if you really want to make uh, make this code run in your own machine so you can do one thing you can check if it is integrated or not if it is integrated then i will let you i will tell you for later what can be done if it is not integrated and you really want to know further what is the code change so there is a issue link here at the bottom so you can click on this link it will open a new bug.jdk open jdk page here in this page the same content which you saw in the jep page is also mentioned here at the bottom of this page you will have either some other issue links or some tasks in this one you can uh, look at look for anything which is like a not a bug or some implementation kind of thing for example this is a not a bug so you can click here and here this is the ticket with which the developer had merged it so you can go and check this pull request or you can if you want to check the commit you can click on this last link and you can now will be navigated to a github github page, github page where you can see all the code changes which were done or each of these so you might be familiar with this java classes right collection collections so these are the real files which were in which the code changes were made so for example taking a like taking the example of array list which is i think most uh, famous or most used uh, java class by all the developers so you can see here that what changes were made so most probably the, the most notable are the addition of get first get last and add first add last and remove first remove last so these methods were added here total of six methods were added and then you can also understand what was added what were the review comments for review comments what you can do is you can click on the pull request and you can see the this is the pull request here you can go through all the review comments made and how this pull request was integrated with the main branch so all these things you can check and it is as if like you are you are uh, you are making your journey along with the open jdk team you are understanding so i go, get many questions like uh, like uh, for example if they are not yet graduated they are doing graduation either engineering or any other graduation or post graduation they have not started their programming uh, yet or people who are doing um, jobs in software industry so if they they ask that if i am not doing something which is related to programming and i i want to make programming i want to be part of a team which is doing programming and understand from it so we can i always give them the suggestion that you can uh, take any one of the active open source projects for example open jdk and then all these things are available here so you can be a pass passive member of the team you can keep on tracking the home page go to their pull request see what they if you are not familiar with the team members it's fine but the thing which we want to extract from here is that the what quality of the because we all understand the people working here are have dedicated their time for the open jdk project so what they are doing what kind of comments they are making and finally what is the code delivery we are doing in the open jdk so here you can see all these things and you can you will be really feeling a connection with the java uh, development kit development so uh, where you are not a part of the team yet but you are you getting all the information 
making it they are making it available for you so this is the example by which i personally use this uh, methodology to de dive deep into the code the review process the efforts made by different team members in open jdk community it's a uh, the community has many people from various uh, various companies diverse groups individual contributors as well so you can go to any jep page then go to the issue from the issue you can go to the bottom of the page and uh, check which is not a bug so these are all i think bugs so without the bugs it should not be a bug implementation should be a non bug so it is an enhancement so it's a new feature in this you can get the pull request from where you can get the review comments and uh, uh, the the efforts done by different team members and finally if you just you just are wanted you just want to know what code changes were made to deliver this project you can click on this uh, commit and the commit you can get the changes for all the files similarly the second thing which we want to discuss today is uh, let me close this windows second thing which we want to discuss is for example what happens if it is already how to know if it is already uh, there in the um, java 21 or not is that the status is integrated and let's suppose it is integrated and you want to run the code for sequence collections feature so you can in the from the home page only you can click on the jdk ga slash early access builds so if you click on this link you will be navigated to the jdk java net dot uh, net uh, website here you can see early uh, ready for use is 2019 and other releases early access is also available now for jdk 22 because it has been branched from the main uh, main um, code repository so now you have jdk 22 this page doesn't have anything now because last i checked because we don't have any features now for this we already have a build one for jdk 22 so if you want to try out jdk 22 with i think no notable uh, you have these changes you can know what changes were made or what issues were addressed in this if you want to go to jdk 21 which we are interested in now so you can see there was it is build number 26 so comparing jdk 22 which is already we have an early access build so build number one starts today so people who are thinking why to learn or why to understand jdk 21 today they will be amazed to know that jdk 22 already has started so we are uh, i'm not trying to cliche it by saying we are behind or something because we are always behind even we sleep when we sleep and wake up tomorrow it will be really behind some uh, we will not be knowing many things so jdk 22 has started build number one has started so if you download the zip if you are depending on your uh, os you can download the zip or the tar zip file and so let me compare this with 22 21 so this 26 builds have passed so you can understand that uh, if the by the num date so if it is uh, june 9th it means that if uh, uh, let's suppose uh, so it is merged already so by anything which is merged before this date will be there in this zip so you download this unzip it and put it in your um, java home and uh, path variables in windows i'm using windows so i'm just talking about giving example of windows and then you can start working on it so a time check we have already um, crossed the 15 minutes uh, already talked about java 21 for 15 minutes so our next agenda will be so this is the i wanted to just showcase last time when we did the audio uh, streaming that time i was not able to unable to show these things uh, on screen but this time i wanted to really wanted to show uh, show these things so that people can i want to see more engagement uh, more from the java community uh, at linkedin or using my youtube channel to so that they can they can be also be a part of this and they can really see how easy it is to uh, see the code changes made by the team or uh, to use this feature at all so second thing is that we can down so i showed you that how can we download the zip file and uh, make it a part of your daily learning and these builds will be every thursday i guess uh, 9th is um, yeah so every friday yeah sorry every friday there will be one build and uh, next friday there will be another build 27 so you can download that if you are interested in the changes made in that build now without further ado let me take another example of the other feature i was talking about that is um yeah that is the string templates it's a preview 
feature i will also show during the live code se live code session that uh, what is the difference between a preview feature and a non preview as in like the integrated feature so in a preview feature you have to give some extra flags many times i my self included i have found that when we are talking about uh, preview features and non preview features most of the time we are uh, we invest more time in understanding what do they mean and less time and we are more confused in running those code and uh, getting discouraged by some errors like this is a preview feature add this flag add that flag or um, you some errors which we can't understand because our ids when we are uh, working with jdk versions which we which is going to be released in future our ids usually don't support them because our ids are supporting n minus 1 or uh, the nth release that is 20 not that 21 so you don't have support for maven you don't have support for gradle you don't have support the id doesn't know about this particular version so you feel a uh, lost without people who are dependent much about who are dependent on ids in their day to day life they will be lost if they um if they use it as a plain java like how we used used to use uh, in our graduation or when we were at school so we used to ha <clears throat> have a template a terminal and we used to run from there so that is the experience we have to use <laughs> for java for the n plus 1 release that is 21 now so taking example quickly an example of string templates so if you want to see the code here you can go you can click on this uh, issue it will navigate to a page like this and then you can go to the end and click on the this issue uh, this issue link and then you will be going here and you can see the same um, git pull request and uh, the commit so in the in the pull request you will be able to see the uh, the comments and in the commit you can see the code changes which were made so these are the code changes which were made and you can see you can really appreciate the quality of code and the the things which we don't know actually how uh, the how a java developer you might be using a set, a very limited set of apis or methods or the way of coding you can understand even how the open jdk team codes so that is one important and a very crucial and very valuable thing which we can take away from this uh, code review now let's proceed and uh, i just wanted to make sure that everybody who doesn't want to spend more time in writing the code from scratch can uh, leverage the uh, it's not a i'm not saying that it has exhaustive and it is a very um, uh, end to end or uh, it's it's having all the types of code snippets but i just wanted my intention of creating a Uh, a github repo for uh, java 21 is just to make sure that i what issues i faced or when uh, in, in the past that uh, i was uh, struggling for a n plus 1 release uh, the struggling the struggle part is that to make it running and to type the code which is not cannot be shown by the ide uh, by the compiler because it doesn't understand that uh, byte code version so the, so you can at least have a compiled compiled or already tested code by somebody and you can build on top of it so now i can the next part will be to show you the real code so let's uh, let me share the screen for stop the share for uh, the browser and share the id yeah i hope the people who joined through linkedin live and uh, um and youtube are able to see the screen i think youtube is showing the screen very at the live moment let me see if linkedin also should be showing it okay so this is the last and the second part of this um, session is that i wanted to show uh so i am using intellij and uh, in this uh, i am showing how i can run java 21 code for starting with sequence collection let me close this so this i this is the same uh, git repo and here i have tried to mention everything uh, i tried to mention um this uh, all the things which are required for the people for example this code is belonging to this jep and uh, this is the home page this is the download you can download the java 21 early access build here and this is the 
uh, commit which uh, with which this feature was added so this is sequence collection uh, in brief they added uh, the open jdk team added a new interface called sequenced collection which extends collection interface and they have added a new method here um, reversed which will give you the reversed of the collection the, the reversed elements elements in reverse uh, order in the in the collection and they have add, they have promoted the these methods uh, these are the six methods add first add last get first get last remove first remove last so these are the six things which we have they have promoted from the so it's from the deck so actually you can understand why the reasoning behind it and everything from the jep uh, which i don't want to shift the screen from so this is the jep uh, you can understand why they have done it and what is the uh, many times i get questions in the comments of my post or uh, from uh, other people who uh, see the youtube videos at my channel in the engineer sunit channel so there they ask that uh, they because by the look of some very simple features for example we now currently we have this uh, removal or making the public in uh, the psvm like public static void main the main method uh, with string or string array arguments so people ask why uh, why do they ne even need to do this because for the people who have worked in this industry or worked with java from past 10 years or uh, 5 plus years they will feel uh, very uh, they will not feel the value of it but the java is uh, the the point here is that we need to understand the from all point of view from the experience levels of everybody from a person who is doing his graduation or maybe he's the person is at school uh, doing schooling or uh, they are uh, using it for some uh, projects college projects or school projects or any uh, even, even for teaching purposes for training and or training purposes as well so these things are the people give reviews the people give uh, feedback and then we feel that if somebody feels that okay this is really need to make a will make an impact on the many people they add it so these things earlier were not a standard now what happened is that the sequence collection interface which extends collection is actually extend is basically implemented by all the comment so i can uh, okay I, I would have showed you but they are they are being implemented by um, a list map so all these things are uh, they are actually implementing it so this is a simple program uh, let me show you the what this program does it's basically an array list of uh, three skills uh, the skills are starting from the Oracle database, microservice, shell scripting. And I wanted to, so I learned Java. So I wanted to make, it is a basically sorted by the skill level. So Oracle database, the most skilled microservice and shell scripting, the least skilled. I wanted to, if some programmer or if some developer knows that this element needs to be at the first, and it should be uncounted first whenever we are iterating it, they can, instead of adding it to the zeroth, uh, element they can add first and then it will be added to the zeroth element and all the things will be this will be second first second second third and fourth and i can add it at uh, a python at the last so java will be at the first and so it's a convenience method basically it's not like we could not we could have done this in a lengthier manner earlier now it has become a part of the specification of collections itself so sequence collection where the list will now support all these methods out of the box making it simpler for the people to do uh, the, the set the encounter options encounter uh, orders for the first and the last element so now if i print this what will happen is i can use get first and get last so i will get java as first and python as first last and then now i can reverse it using the reverse method and then i can print it print the get first and get last and I can also remove first and remove last. So now you can see that I am using this remove first, remove last, get first, get last, add first, add last, or using a simple list object. And I have not done any, so my code has now simplified because I'm not doing, I'm not using a util uh, for doing all this. It has become out of the box implementation. And then let me run this code. So now you can see that I'm not using any Gradle or any, um, any third party help from anything because currently none of the uh, the third parties are supporting this so let me run this by saying java sequence collection one important thing here let me first of all clear this 
Yeah, so one difference you will find is that when you are running sequence collection, it, the, we don't have to give anything else. It is just like a normal um, Java compilation and running. We, we are not giving any, even though I am running Java 21 here, let me show you the Java version. It should not be changed. Yeah, so the Java version is Java 21. The build is 26, which I showed the latest build from the early access build. And uh, this is using that build. So with Java 21 build, I can, if I run this sequence collection, no need to give any flag because this is not a preview feature. I, I This is the difference between a preview feature and a non-preview feature. So this is a non-preview feature. It is already integrated. It's a part of Java 21 and Java 21 plus means 22, 23, 24, unless it is deprecated. So if I run this, so you can see that I, when I added the, yeah. So when I added from in the Java to the first and Python to the last, so the Java became the first and Python became the last by using this get first and get last. When I added, when I reversed it, Python became the first and Java became the last. And if I, after uh, reversing, if I remove the first and last, then the Python and Java both are removed from the list and then I'm getting the shell scripting and Oracle database. So this is a simple feature. It basically removes the use of util classes or creating extra boilerplate class, boilerplate code, makes them a part of JDK, and then you and the developers can utilize this get first and get last. Now I am going to show you the um, a bit complicated uh, Java, Java Java 21 feature, which is a um, preview feature. So let me first run this code and then I can show you the, let me run this code. Yeah. So I am in, if I run this code, you will see that I am using enable preview and source 21. So I'm using these two flags. So enable preview is to compile, uh, but since I'm using Java, it's a JDK 11 feature where I can compile and run the code in, at the, in the same command. So I'm using Java, giving the compile flag enable preview and giving the source 21 to tell that it is sourced from 21. The so pre preview features are from 21 version. And this is some, I am using Jakarta JSON APIs for uh, JSON parsing and JSON creation. So I am using that in the class path. So that is an, uh, irrelevant to this uh, uh, demo. So here, again, I have given the, uh, the for the help, for somebody who is you cloning this repo, they can understand from where it is coming from. So you have this JEP, you have the commit uh, from the Open JDK team for this feature, and then you have different uh, which the clicks the different links I clicked. Those are available here. So that and how to from which build onwards it is available. So from build 22 onwards, this feature is available from the JDK Java Net. That's a early access build. So this code, let me sh quickly show you how can we do this, use this feature. So earlier to know the utility of a feature, we should understand the pain points. So pain points, coming to the pain points, these are directly taken from the JEP document. So if you want to say, uh, if you want to write a mathematical um, equation and what it does, you will say X plus Y equals X plus Y. And then you add a lot of, pluses in the middle to concatenate. Uh, so, and also it will, what we'll do is that X is an int, right? So it will, uh, it will box it to the uh, to integer class and then it will do two string and then plus then Y, same thing happens here. And then you can give out, uh, print it out this way. So this is the normal string concatenation with plus operator. It's a hard to read code because this is a simple example, but it's a variable and some string mixed together with different objects. And uh, second thing is string builder. String builder is verbose, means for just writing a simple line, uh, line as in like this this line, 10 plus 20 equals 30, you, had, you have to do a string builder append, 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 append. So as many times you want to append something and then, then through string. So internally, obviously if you, if you go internally, what, how many things it will be doing that uh, we will understand that it's a too much over engineering or too much verbosity is there to just to do simple task. 
just to avoid uh, multiple string creation string object creation and uh, there are other things as well like for example string dot format uh, static method where we can give lots of formatting options and uh, the whatever what data we are substituting so that data we can substitute here when give the substitutions in the form of variables here so you can give say, say format and then you can uh, do give all the variables here so here the issue will be if we give it will not check at the compile time how many uh, placeholders are there and how many variables you have passed and uh, it will give arity and type mismatches because the the decimal or an integer can be given as a string and a character can be given as a integer so all these things at the runtime you may get an error so these things are uh, cumbersome Sim similarly it is for the string dot formatted and uh, message format also again some people might have used it for error messages for error messages we might have used something like um, this uh, curly braces zero placeholder one two and then it is this zero one two are no way related to the grammar or to to the english to the language where we are producing the sentence for so there we can we can have so person who does not understand this sentence can substitute or pass different variables of different types in a wrong way so that is again a problem it is not uh, readable as well it is way too much it is basically adding some notations with english language now comes the string template processor so string template processor is a bit complicated if i want if you if i want to explain it to the depth but very usage wise it is very simple so let me start with the usage uh, rather than going into deep into what it is so string uh, in a um, in a uh, in higher level if you just want to understand what is a string template processor it's a interface with some methods and uh, that interface has a upper this has a parent class uh, which is a template processor and you get to use a simple notation like this so string str is a by default given by the jdk it will be added as a um, static member of the class automatically by the by java 21 so we don't have to uh, create this so whenever when we ever create a class this str object will be created directly a reference will be created directly so here we can say str dot my name is then the notation is uh, backslash and then curly braces the name so here the name is nothing but the variable name so you can if you name the variables beautifully according to standards or if you are um, naming them as per the data that is containing so that is no it is not equivalent to this like zero one two or uh, like just giving of the the data type d or s it is basically the directly the variable name you can type here and uh, then you can say this so i have two variables name and programming language so i my i want to tie i want to print that my name is and i love programming in java so i can say my name is they give a backslash and then the curly braces give the variable name here and i say i can say i love so when i print this this will be printed my name is and I love programming in Java. Similarly, you can use uh, simple things. For example, you can reuse the same variables to create different strings. So you can have first name, last name. You can uh, give full name, sorted name, or you can play with it. So you can, you, if you have the variable names, you can create different strings out of it from the string template processor. And uh, embedded strings can also perform arithmetic operations so if you give x plus y and x and y i already have defined in the top so these are integers so if you if you say um, str and give the x and y values and uh, say x plus y so this will be printed directly and it will do the arithmetic operation for you so 10 plus 20 equals 30 or the best thing is that you can invoke methods as well so get message type is a method here which returns proposal so i have returned a string called proposal so you have a so when it runs you will it will print this for you you have a proposal waiting for you so you can have some methods already and you can refer them from the string template 
and uh, you can also use uh, not only this but you can use the records so we have a record called access request which takes date time and an ip address so ip address is a link string so it can you can use the uh, records fields directly here so record is the this is a record and uh, i am using date time and ip address as it's directly the data i can i can use it in my string template i can even uh, to so that people want people can use jdk21 and they can refactor their code from using the earlier patterns to this pattern they can use this uh, this is the old pattern like we can we use the plus operator to concatenate the string literals with some variables which uh, implicitly will call to string and then use we can use some very uh, we can use this uh, tertiary operators or we can play with it similarly we can do here and uh, we can so this ide actually does not understand this feature so that's why it is giving a different code a different color for uh, these two these things so actually this is not a this completely is a string from here to here it is completely a string it is not able to understand this as a because it is terminating here so this is a string template in that template we have used inside the the backslash and the curly braces we have we can use tertiary operators as well inside the string template as well so this will give you the same content the file does not exist the file does not exist for both of them so here we don't have to write we can use the same template and uh, use it to create a string out of the box and uh, double quotes can be used inside the string template that is what we wanted to show here that even though we have tertiary operator and these double quotes are there inside the entire string template it can it will not throw a compilation issue now comes let me show you some other things as well like we can use decrements increments and we can use nested uh, notations as well uh, expressions as well for example a string template can have a uh, embedded expression inside a embed embedded ex expression for example we have this uh, string template which prints a java scala and groovy we can print we can have skill zero as the first embedded expression in the parent string template and then we can have another notation inside that we can again have a string template so it is it can be nested this is the this is one of the feature which i like the most is the multi line template expressions so i i uh, uh, even though i don't use java 17 most often but this is java 17 is a gift from java 17 i think 15 onwards that we have this multi line multi line uh, text blocks and we can use them and let's suppose we have a text block like this where we have a html uh, code or then we have we can embed the title the title variable and the text variable directly inside it it will directly print out this beautiful html like this so with this we can directly print it out and one more thing is you want to create a json object you just create a json uh, looking string here with the username phone and address variables and when it it can it will when it converts into two string you will already you will have this and uh, we can format something like a table like if you want to format it so these are the things which we can do uh, one more thing is uh, a very very nice feature here is that let's suppose you want to create a json object from a string so what will you do you will use some libraries like jackson and you or you can use jakarta json p libraries and then for example i have used them and i can read the json string uh, this json string and i can format it to create the json object so but here the thing is that you are doing uh, the same thing with the use of a older mechanism and here there is no way to validate the data which is being sent to you does this username phone and address it cannot be for validated at all it just uh, you are reading the object and creating it so if you want to really create it validate it 
and then only produce the JSON object. What you can do is you can use the string template processor interface and say that for a for a string template passed, you can internally do some extra business logic or any logic inside, put some logic inside it and uh, create a return a JSON object directly. So these are this has two uh, important impacts. One is that you are encapsulating the creation of the JSON object internally with a with a new processor so that processor can now implement different tech stack it can implement json jakarta libraries it can implement jackson it can implement json so you are giving user this json string template processor which user can use to create json objects and this can be abstracted or hidden from the user and how we are creating it in the earlier one the user is directly impacted or directly using the libraries here if you create a processor which is uh, which is passed a, a string template and the string template is used to create the json object we, what we can do now is with this json processor we can just say json dot give the text block and uh, these are all referring to the variables and you will directly get json object so json object is the direct result of this simple code now this json string processor string template processor can be used multiple times in the code and we can create a json object out of it and we can add more validations inside it for example you can you can before interpolating these values, for example, the username, phone, address, now you can have the flexibility to add validations. So you can say if the phone number is not 10 digits, so you can add this as a part of this string template custom declaration. So this, whenever you say JSON dot uh, something, some text block or string, immediately you can create either a validate uh, validated JSON object rather than creating a JSON object of whatever values these contain. So you can add business logic to this and this will be hidden from the user. And yeah, so these are the things and this is the record I was talking about. So I have created record and I've created a method as well. So I hope, so these are the two features which I plan to show you today. Uh, first is, first was the sequenced collection, which is a very small update but it 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 is beneficial for people who are either using who are yet to create a project java project from scratch who really can use this to eliminate the usage of utilities or utility methods calls and they can uh, streamline their code with the jdk implementation of getting things from the first or the last indexes and uh, second win second thing is the string templates which are a preview feature uh, preview feature means it is not guaranteed that it will make it to the next release like jdk 22 23 24 so depending on the feedback we may have first preview this is the first preview then we can have second preview third fourth and then finally depending on all the a review from the developer community and the the value it is adding to the overall jdk community jdk um, uh, system we can either integrate it to the next uh, long term release or long term um, release or it can be removed from it so so that's why i wanted to have this session to make more and more developers and java enthusiasts java advocates or java uh, learners to be a part of this journey, give their feedback to the Open JDK team, give it, give their feedback by contributing or creating new projects and showcasing that the before versus after code. So before you used to do this, now you are able to do this with lesser number of code and more performance. Performance, it can be either time wise or it can be uh, your productivity wise as well. In the next uh, live stream, I will discuss the the hot, hot, hot feature, uh, which is now currently being um, posted by 
many java developers uh, the unnamed classes and instance main method which is again a preview feature it means that there will be more previews before either it will be integrated with the next lts uh, which will be i which will be i think uh, 18 19 20 21 so 21 20, 22 23 24 25 so jdk release 25 uh, or it will be removed scrapped uh, and the next one is virtual threads uh, so the virtual thread also is a is a is a major feature which which will uh, force people or which will invite people to use jdk 21 as and choose it as their preferred version of java so this two will be taken up in the next live stream I hope uh, this live stream made a difference and uh, this was I uh, planned it for 30 minutes but it uh, now I have almost spent 45 minutes so I hope it was uh, I was able to make some difference to your learning journey and uh, uh, hope you continue to learn more and share more in um, using your own uh, scratch projects or projects which you have please uh, comment uh, comment on the my youtube channel uh, engineer sunit on this live stream or the linkedin post or the linkedin event which we created and uh, let us know what will be what is what are your reactions and thank you for joining today i yeah i sorry i did not check a lot of uh, um a lot of comments from Shiva, Minu. Yes, I read it now. So yeah, I was just presenting it. So I will not take much of your time. This is a working day. Thank you very much. Uh, have a good day. Good night. Good evening. Bye bye.